And welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to talk and learn all about thumb picks. Okay, thumb picks. This ingenious little invention that allows you to play the guitar normally. Okay, and also finger pick while getting really, really good sound out of the bass strings. Okay, and you can move fluently between the two. You can also. Okay, solo as you normally would. And it's all even more convenient to do if you use a black mountain pick. Okay, black mountain picks are a game changer. Let me tell you why. Because they're actual picks. They're not just this piece of plastic that you wrap around your thumb. It's an actual pick attached to a plastic latch with a spring in between them. So the pick actually okay, acts like a real pick would, okay? And they have three designs, okay? They have a jazz tipped pick. For people like me who are used to those tiny jazz picks, okay, the jazz three picks, for example. And this is a thumb pick that actually behaves just like a jazz pick. So I'm getting the sound that I'm used to getting out of a normal pick while, okay, while being able to play finger style with this pick. So they have the jazz tipped pick, okay, the one that I'll be using in this lesson. They have a heavy gauge pick for those of you who like heavy picks. And they have a medium gauge pick, okay, for the rest of us. So uh, you can get yourself a variety pack and try all three from Black Mountain Picks. So when you want to use a thumb pick, okay, um, what you need to remember is actually one little thing, just one thing. Okay, if you're used to picking with your thumb, okay, then your thumb is kind of diagonal to the string. Okay, it's kind of diagonal. And you're using the you're using the tip of your finger, okay, the skin, but when you use a thumb pick, you need to use the pick. You need to use the tip of the pick, not the tip of your finger. So what you need to do is hold your thumb parallel to the string. Okay, that's the only change that you need to get used to. You need to be parallel to the string so the, the pick, okay, the tip of the pick is actually the part that picks. That's the only thing you need to get used to. And it's only, you know, it's just a, you know, like half a centimeter okay, change with your thumb. It's, it's you, you can't even notice it through video, okay? Even if I zoom in, it's just a minute change, okay? And makes all the difference. So you can use the pick, okay? Especially if you're using Black Mountain picks, which are, you know, they feel and act like regular picks, okay? Unlike the um, the normal, okay? Before the pre-Black Mountain picks, which are just a piece of plastic, a rigid piece of plastic that sits around your thumb, okay? This one, thanks to the spring mechanism actually acts like a pick okay so you you can play whatever whatever it is you are already used to okay playing with a pick so you can strum and you can okay you can change pretty fluently uh, and pretty smoothly into finger picking so um, you can play open strings Okay, regular, okay, the normal way to do it. Or you can palm mute the bass notes. And then you get really, really strong notes. Unlike your thumb, okay, which gets you a soft, mellow, almost undetectable sound. Okay, using a thumb pick will get you a really strong percussive effect. Okay, you thought that I was going for okay, D over F sharp, but I was going for F sharp flat 13 for some reason. I don't know, my fingers have a mind of their own. So I was playing G. Okay, and you see I'm just muting the bass note. Okay, you can mute both bass notes. Okay. 
Let's change to the medium gauge pick. Okay, just to show you the difference in sound. Now, it's still gonna be me playing, so it's not gonna be a huge difference in sound, but for those of you who aren't used to the tiny jazz picks, it makes makes a huge difference. So I, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but this is the medium gauge uh, pick. And it brings out the bass strings um, a little bit, you know, with a little bit more volume than the, than the jazz pick. The jazz pick, uh, the one that I'm used to, okay, so I'm gonna go back to it. Um, it's really good for soloing. Okay, but then. Hey, you see, so you get a really good sound out of the bass. So what you need to remember is that as long as you keep your thumb parallel to the bass string, it's all good. Again, if you're using a Black Mountain pick, you'll see that you don't really need my help because you can just play finger picking, okay, finger style, the same way you're used to. So the, the trick here is to remember that when you want to strum, you don't really need to hold the pick, okay? So when you need to strum, okay, you just do this. I'm gonna try to use the tip of my thumb for a second, okay? As, as you would do, okay, you would, yeah, you'd strum with your thumb. Anyway, but now you have a pick, so you can you can get a true strumming sound out of it. Okay? It's just a matter of subtlety. The challenge again is to keep your thumb parallel to the strings. Okay, so. Okay, um, because if you try to um, to play with your uh, thumb tip, okay, you might, okay, you might mute the the strings because the pick, okay, the thumb pick would pick, and then your thumb would touch the string, okay, so it'll mute it. So you need to keep your thumb parallel, okay, to the strings at all times so okay you can change between finger picking and normal picked arpeggios and then you can Okay, keep uh, finger picking. Okay, you can play solo. Okay, you can play hybrid picking. Okay, really, really well using a thumb pick. You can solo uh, using hybrid picking. Okay, you can pick. Okay, using the pick, you can pick one note, and you can uh, pick the other string with a finger. That way, you can do really fast licks without without uh, that extra pick movement. Okay, unless you want to. Okay, but you can. Okay, you can get. Okay, you can get really nice sounds. Okay, you can get different dynamics. Did you hear that change? Okay, that was my finger, and then the pick. So um, it enables you to play really, okay, really interesting, okay, really interesting lines, okay, um, while getting interesting dynamics. If I would play this line, okay, using just my fingers, it's pretty much the same dynamic. But if I use the thumb pick, then I get, okay, the fingers, and then the finger and the pick. Instead of getting the same, okay, the same um, soft, 
okay? The, the softened um, skin sound, okay? You can get a different, okay? A different dynamic, and that way you know that this is where the ear wants to go, and this, this is the background note, okay? So it, it applies to everything. Okay, you can you can pick it. Okay, you can strum. Okay, or you can. Okay, you can use the pick for the uh, just for the muted D string. Okay, and then you barely hear it. But you can also try a different approach and pick the whole thing. Okay, and then get. Um, so you, you need to try it. You need to try it and see for yourself uh, what you like. Okay? Instead of just using fingers. Yeah, you see? It's less... Um, it doesn't have that guitar pick quality to it. Okay? This is great. But I think that this sounds a lot more... A lot more awesome. Okay? Because you have a more distinctive third string sound okay and that way you get a foreground and background effect which is it's what music is all about okay it's what finger picking is all about so if you use okay if you use that heavy bass effect okay um, let me change to the heavy gauge pick for a second okay you can get really nice and heavy sounds you see okay, okay. I went from uh, power chords smoothly right back into the blues. Okay, just to show you the example, what what these uh, Black Mountain picks can do. Okay, they're spectacular picks. Uh, really, the spring mechanism is just a game changer. It's a game changer because these are, to me, these are not thumb picks. It's picks, okay? I don't even feel com comfortable, okay? I don't feel fair towards these picks uh, by calling them thumb picks because they're, um, because thumb picks for me are very inconvenient. That's why I om almost always use my, uh, my exposed thumb, just the skin the tip of my finger but the black mountain picks are so I changed to the heavy gauge um, pick just to show you that, that it can get a really heavy sound. But if I want to, if I want a solo, then I'd go to the pick that I'm okay, that I'm used to, um, and then it's just like holding a normal jazz pick, but it's a thumb pick doesn't fall off. Okay, there's no, there's no chance anyone would ever drop this into their guitar and then spend the next half hour doing this. Um, so um, if, if 
for anything else, uh, this is a great win for Black Mountain. Okay, never lose a pick again. Um, but as I said, uh, it's, it's an innovative pick, it's a convenient pick, it's a great sounding pick, and it just feels like a pick. Doesn't feel anything like a thumb pick. You you forget about the about the fact that it latches onto your thumb at some point. You just treat it as a normal pick. So thank you very much, uh, Black Mountain Picks, for um, sending me the variety pack to try out. I love these picks, and uh, you will love them too. So try out the variety pack to see uh, for yourself how amazing these thumb picks are. So thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye, enjoy.